Kenwood made a few notable changes when upgrading the DNX575S to the exceptional DNX576S DVD Navigation Double DIN Stereo. Inside the box is a wiring harness. USB extension. External microphone for voice recognition. GPS antenna and mount. Installation hardware. Warranty card. User manual. Optional trim and double din stereo. The rear connections include 3.5 millimeter AV output, three sets of four volt preamp outputs for front, rear, and subwoofer, Bluetooth microphone, GPS antenna, dash cam. 3.5 millimeter AV in, eye dialing maestro, wiring harness for power ground and speaker, Sirius XM, plus several pigtails, including backup camera, dash camera, video output, radio antenna, and USB. The Kenwood DNX576S is an impressive stereo, however, it may be a little overpriced when you find out what it can't do. For new tricks, Kenwood gave the DNX576S a new image slideshow feature, which cycles through either the stereo's preset images or your own images when connected with the USB thumb drive and JPEG files stored on the drive. The new customizable widget screen lets you move sources around to your preference in your home screen. They also took away web link, which I'm very happy about. I guess I could see the potential in that app, but it was just too slow and laggy. You couldn't have paid me to use it. Just let Apple CarPlay and Android auto handle everything, okay guys? Or give us an HDMI input back. The DNX576S features a 6.8 inch clear resistive touchscreen, which is not detachable plus a sleek anodized bar at the bottom. And you'll notice no rotary dial, which I generally prefer. I also prefer capacitive touchscreens. Come on, Kenwood. This is a navigation unit, so it has built-in Garmin navigation with Inrix traffic, plus features lane assist while driving. Kenwood eliminated the disc eject button, and in order to remove a DVD or CD, you must select the pop-up menu button to bring up the eject option. Kenwood replaced the eject button with a micro SD card slot for audio, video, and image files, plus Garmin Maps updates. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto have both been updated thanks to the latest software for iPhone and Android devices. We have new videos on the upgraded versions of both, going over everything new that they both offer. Check out the links in the bio below or at the end of the video to see what's new with both of these softwares. Both integrate several of your smartphone's first and third party audio and navigation apps to the stereo with a USB connection. Video apps do not transfer, so no YouTube or Netflix, and this stereo is not compatible with wireless Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. Siri and Google Assistant work with the voice control button. Expand the radio even further with the iDialing Maestro RR for a seamless interface with your factory system.
The DNX576S has three camera inputs for an optional three camera system. Plus is dash cam ready with the DRV N520, which links with the receivers, giving you an extra pair of eyes on the road, providing safety warnings like departure delay and forward collision warning. Bluetooth lets you practice hands-free calling plus stream music wirelessly. You can even connect two phones at the same time. A USB connection provides a charge as well as music streaming and app control over Spotify and Pandora. The USB connection will also display album artwork. Album artwork is possible via Bluetooth. You have to be streaming via Bluetooth wirelessly, but go into the Spotify or iPod source and the artwork will come up. The DNX is also Series XM ready with the SXV 300V1 Universal Tuner and steering wheel control ready with the Access ASWC1 Universal Interface. Links in the bio for those. Mirroring a device to the radio is possible despite there being no RCA AV input or HDMI input. The radio has a rear 3.5mm AV input and using it with a few adapters. You'll be able to mirror your phone to the stereo iPhone and Android both work. Link in the bio for all necessary adapters. Using USB thumb drives or CDs, the radio is compatible with MP3, WMA, AAC, WAV, and FLAC audio files. And for video files, it plays back MPEG-1, MPEG-2, MPEG-4, H.264, and WMV files. You can also upload and view JPEG images. Customize the stereo with several preset wallpapers or upload your own. Plus, set the button color illumination. Camera puts you in full control of the audio. Let's go over the cons, the display and the price. The touchscreen is not capacitive. Sorry Kenwood, I'm not paying $800 for a stereo with a clear resistive screen. Maybe if it had an HD display, but it doesn't even have that either. Predictably, the stereo has a resolution of 800 by 480 pixels. But it's still stacked with features and excellent audio customization. 
be sure to go to qualitymobilevideo.com to get all of your car audio and video gear with us today. Links for everything in the video bio below. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and click that like button, but if you hated it, click the dislike button. Join the conversation below and subscribe to our channel if you're new. Thanks for watching.